I'm Tony Carter. I'm the current New Zealand Professional Photographer here and I've won this award seven times in total now. I've also been named uh, New Zealand Documentary Photographer here in 2020 and 2021. I'm an international photography judge including portrait masters and have exhibited overseas with my portrait work. I believe true documentary photos are, are, are more unscripted or feel natural using natural light and also showing people in their own environment and you know that, that to me is, is what really makes a long term portrait stand the test of time when you can see how somebody lives or how they work or see something about their life in those images. To me true portraiture and documentary portraits is an exchange between the photographer and the subject. So what I mean by that is you give them part of you and they give themselves back to you. So sometimes that comes with spending time with people and making sure you gain their trust and then making them feel natural in their own environment or of the space you've chosen. So it's all about framing them with things that are important in their life or, or just showing how they live or how they work or, or just even showing emotion you know, with, if there's more than one person, show, showing emotion towards each other. The best sort of advice I can give to photographers with documentary is getting in close to their subjects, you know, showing a, a wider view and, and sort of walking around the image and just showing everything in fine detail so you know the environment, sort of treat it more like it's, it, it looks like how you would see it with your natural eye rather than thinking about using a tele photo shot and, and blowing the background out. Yeah, really show the environment people are in. With photographing people and documentary portraits, it's important to, to gain the trust of people very quickly and to let them be natural in the environment and not show any nerves. So just really getting to them and befriending them and, and just showing that level of trust and respect um, so, so people can sort of just about forget you're there, really. It's very important to me. I think with documentary style work, what you need to do is be prepared to spend the time and go back, you know, two or three times if necessary to get the right shots, to gain trust, um, to show people your images that you've taken of them and just get to that level of, of trust with people that you can keep going back until you get the right images that you're proud of. I think honesty in the images is, is important. So when I say that, it's just showing you know, the, the, the true environment that somebody lives in, but with respect to that person. So, you know, don't show them in, in a bad light, in a negative light, if that's not how they are all the time. But as long as the image is truly ref reflecting that person and, you know, you're happy to show that to them afterwards, um, you're just really showing that respect is important. I think that the best form of lighting is, is natural light for this type of work. Um, you can use artificial lighting, but really to get that sort of unscripted feel, looking for natural light and, and finding the right areas to photograph in people is very important as well. Just make sure you're getting everything illuminated that you want to be seen in the pictures and just really storytelling. I mean, you know, great documentary images for me are about um, emotion and, and storytelling of somebody's life. I photographed a, a homeless lady um, recently and you could still see the light in her eyes, so it's, it's sort of a show empathy to people, but you know, and, and just make sure you're bringing out the best in somebody, even if it's a poor situation. Yeah, I think the best projects for documentary can be long term, so, so that's where you might go to a town and you might keep visiting it and gaining the trust of people. And once people trust you, then they will lead the way, lead the path to other people. And, if you can show them the images along the way, all the better. But that's, then that's when you get the true gold. That's when you, you, when you start to get into people's homes and to be able to show, show environments, um, you know, show people having an emotion towards each other and, and that sort of thing.